Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you some neat tricks on how we can summarize data by date or more specifically year or group them by month using the free online version of Excel. Excel is a very powerful tool that we use for our day-to-day -day tasks for data analytics as well as, well as our spreadsheet tasks. However, for those who do not have the paid subscription for Excel, they are still free to use the online free version of Excel provided by Microsoft. All you need to have is a Microsoft account. The online free version has its own limitations in terms of features, but with some few tweaks and workarounds, you still can achieve a fair bit using the free online version of Excel. And it's a good place for people to start and practice their basic Excel skills. So let's take a look. I'm going to open my online Excel sheet. And let's take a look at the data set that we have here. It's a simple data set. You can see it has the investor category. It has the uh, type of technology and the amount invested. And there's a date field for each of them. Now I want to group this specifically by date and more specifically by year. Using the paid subscription version of Excel, I can do this in three or four clicks. It's very simple and easy with a pivot table. How do I do this? in the free online version who doesn't have many other features. So let's take a look. I'm going to add a pivot table. So I'm going to insert, select here, add a pivot table. I've defined this as a table so I can select this from a table. That's fine. Now I'm going to add the amount column because I want to summarize that and I want to summarize it by date. However, in the online version, you can see it has all the date fields and there's no feature to group the, the date by year or month, which is possible in the desktop version of Excel. So how do I overcome this? Let's see a simple trick. I'm going to use the year function. Close this. So I get the year from the date. I'm going to copy it down. Use Control Shift down to go to the last row. Suppose it's 85. I probably don't need this. Remove that. All right. It has given me the years from the date. Now I want the unique values of years. So I use neat fillover function given by Excel. It's called unique. Select the array C4 to C4085. So that's the last row. You can see I get the unique years. So cool. And now I want to summarize the data. So let's I can do the sum if function by your sum if I select the range. Okay, I want to use absolute references so that when I drag down the, the formula, it gives you the absolute references of the range then I'm going to select the criteria that is the year by which I want to sum it by and then the values that I want to sum so before I select the absolute reference to B4085 and there's a Quick knee in nice shortcut in Excel, you can just press F4 to mark the absolute references. You can see it has grouped it. Now I can just drag the down. And it has summarized the date, the data by year. You can also do something nice and just add a nice line chart where I can view the trend of, of the data. Add a nice line chart. Double click this. You see how easy it is to overcome some of the limitations and also get a lot of features in there. Just change the chart title by the time it loads. In investment by year. Do that. I go to the data in the horizontal axis. I can add the years and I remove this. I don't need to plot that line. So I can see the nice trend of the investment per year. 
And that's about it. So if you need any more videos on showing you some quick tricks and workarounds on the online free version of Excel or any other spreadsheet, please do let me know and like and subscribe to the video below. Please leave your comments. Thank you.